Okay, welcome to Rainbow Boards. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just run through the presentation quickly tonight because most of the people that are on the call are already part of Rainbow. Okay, so Rainbow Boards was founded uh, five months ago on the 5th of May. We're almost on six months. Originated from a group of friends who made a commitment to rise above all else and create a team of leaders that has heart and truly wants to bless others. Throughout our short journey together, we have been building and maintaining this commitment and we continue to improve daily. So it's quite important to know that uh, Rainbow Boards literally is not any normal platform. It is a platform where we come together and we commit to doing what we do. We don't just join and do nothing. We, we have to work together as a team uh, to make Rainbow work. Excuse me. Okay, our vision. Can everybody mute their microphones for me? We believe in the biblical principle of sowing and reaping. And as we grow in our journey together, our vision is to build up like-minded individuals who have the ability to always uplift and bless others. Trust and integrity are core values we hold dear to be successful. The entire system is designed to function best when everybody works together as a team. We always want to ensure that no one is left behind. And that really truly is our main goal. We do not want to leave people behind, but uh, being, having said that, we also, uh, you know, we need people to actually make a commitment to come along with us. You know, we cannot have people that are like anchors um, for us to make rainbow work. Like we said in the beginning, you know, it's a commitment that all of us made. All of the leaders started up with 10 people who started up and we made a commitment that we are going to be doing this monthly and building together. And our our true goal really is to take everybody with us. We don't want anybody to be left behind. Okay, so about us. Um, we have been implementing a lot of stuff since we started. So you guys will see that we are constantly changing and constantly improving things to ensure consistent movement throughout the different levels. We are still building the foundation and we continue to improve it daily. So the, the reason that I say this is because you'll see um, if you go back on the YouTube channel, as we've recorded some of these Zoom meetings, you'll see that we've done a lot of changes as we've started. There's every month we are implementing new changes to improve. And we will also be doing a lot of changes going forward now uh, within this next month. So it's important to know that you cannot lose your funds or your position. It does take time. And so you should allow at least four to eight months to start seeing results. And that is dependable on your commitment. You know, if you commit to only buy one 250 Rand spot a month, then you are going to, uh, obviously is going to take longer. If you commit to putting in 3,000 rand a month, then you are obviously going to, it's going to be uh, work better for you. So that is your choice, what your commitment is every month. But we do say uh, at least four to eight months to start seeing results on the higher boards. So the goal is to build at least for the first six months to make a commitment, like we said from the beginning, uh, for the first six months at least to say, okay, for the first six months, I'm going to invest 5,000 or 10,000 Rand because that is what most of the leaders did. Most of the leaders have been investing at least five to 10,000 a month to make Rainbow work and to get us to where we are at the moment. So in the spirit of teamwork and for you to earn the maximum amount, we do ask that you look at the bigger picture. None of our team members are financial advisors and we don't offer any financial advice to each other. Okay, so quickly just run through the terms and conditions. These are the most important things to know before you become part of Rainbow Boards. 
due to the fact that we are gifting each other, you cannot be refunded. So there's no money lying around in any account for us to be able to refund you because we are gifting each other. So when we uh, gift someone onto a board, we actually pay the funds directly into their account. It does not go into Rainbow's account. There's no money that can be refunded. So you just have to wait until your board gets into receiver and then your money will be paid out to you. Rainbow boards do not allow spots to be sold at all. We also do not sell off spots for less than the value of the spots. Rainbow boards is not a platform where you ask for gifts. We all need to work together and be patient with the system. We do not allow negative comments to be posted on the group. If you need clarity on anything, you can always private message a leader of Rainbow or preferably the person who introduced you to Rainbow. So the reason we have that is because, um, you know, we, we would like to just, we have a lot of people on the group and we'd like to keep, we, we'd like to keep it positive. You know, we don't, uh, all, all 150 people on the group don't need to know that you don't have money today to buy spots or, you know, that your dog needs a bone or anything like that. We just try and keep it positive and, you um, because of the sake of just having respect for everybody else on the group. So if you have any issues, you're more than welcome to contact one of the 10 leaders. And we are always willing to help everybody uh, to reach out and to explain anything to you if you have any problems. Uh, Charmaine is normally the person, but we'll get to that now. Should you choose to completely leave Rainbow, Admin will take over your spot and liaise with you regarding a positive outcome for both parties. Rainbow cannot be held liable for your tax implications, so please make sure that you pay your own taxes. Okay, then our lovely Rainbow DNA team. This is the people that run Rainbow in the background. Um, Rainbow has uh, recently, uh, two weeks ago, we've registered Rainbow as a company, so that's why I said previously there's a lot of changes coming. And these are our staff members. Hi, I'm Annika Stein. I'm the founder. I think everybody knows that. Then Jess, uh, she's our designer. Margaret handles all of the bridging groups for us. And then Charmaine is the person that uh, will explain stuff to you when you don't know, or you can contact her, or she'll always check up on, on all of the anything information-wise. You can always contact Charmaine. Okay. Then I just want to quickly run through our WhatsApp groups. I'm sure everybody has noticed that we have quite a buzzing WhatsApp groups going on. And in the beginning, it can be very, very overwhelming. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do when you get part, uh, when you uh, become a part of Rainbow is you ask the person invited you to add you to the Rainbow WhatsApp groups. So we've got the official group, which is the main group that everybody would be on um, the, this is the group where we will share all of the main information from the 250 boards right through to the 10,000 boards. Then we've got our bridging groups, which is Dash, Sparky, Blossom, Blaze, and Unity. Now, you don't have to be on all of those groups, um, but it is good to be on them, you know, because you do want to, um, if you've been a part of Rainbow for, for some time, and then you'll see that the bridging groups really are what brings the most momentum in Rainbow. So it's, it is good to be at least on, on at least three or four of them, you know. Uh, it's also vital to know that your WhatsApp will be very busy. So if you're looking for ways to uh, maybe manage uh, so that your WhatsApp doesn't store all of the images, we also don't post all of the boards, we post the links. Uh, to make it easier, just a little bit more manageable for people uh, so that, you know, all of the images and stuff don't just fill your phone the whole time. But there are leaders that can also help you to uh, set your phone to a specific way so that it doesn't save all of these images and things. Okay, so then where to start? You'll have so much to choose from once you start. Uh, it will feel overwhelming and that is okay. <laughs> we can always explain everything to you and we've got many videos and expert and a little information thing is to help you guys to understand. Uh, it only feels overwhelming in the beginning, but it is not 
that bad once you get used to it. So the different board levels that we have uh, is from 250, 750, the 15, uh, 3000, the 5000, the 75 and the 10,000 boards. Those are the seven different levels that we have. So you'll obviously start, you don't have to start on the 250s, but you'll climb your way through um, and with your profits that you make from your uh, 250 board, you can go all the way through to your 10,000 just with the profits that you make from the first 250 that you put in. And then we still have all of the bridging groups as well. <clears throat> Okay, so I just want to quickly then run through the gifting process. So you'll see on this board, the example board here, once you gift someone, then you will start on the outside. You'll enter on the outside and you will pay the 250 rand, the uh, purple boards or the 250 boards, and you'll pay the person in the middle is the receiver. So you will gift that person and you will be put on the outside of that board okay so from here on forward you'll enter uh, here on the left hand side is you once this board is filled up and five other people have gifted becky then this board will split right there where you see that line it splits into two and then you'll see that uh New day two will have one board and Mel triple seven will have another board and you at the top will be on Mel triple sevens board and you'll be on the inner ring right there. Then the next process, you'll go from the inner ring here and you'll also then see it will work exactly the same way. Um, this board will then split and you will then end up on the third ring right there once this board has filled up again. So the whole point of it is, is that we fill up the boards and then we split them into two so that you can move inward. Okay. And then when that uh, board gets filled again, then you will end up in the middle and you will be the person then receiving five gifts. Okay, so then uh, when you are in the middle, you'll get five times 250 Rand. And those gifts will be at this stage directly transferred into your bank account. Okay, so then I just want to go through this. Uh, it is the same on every level. That process works exactly the same on every level, even though Rainbow has implemented some things that make Rainbow a lot different to other board systems. That is the basics of the boards that you need to understand. Then quickly, I'm just going to go through the different levels that we have. So that uh, purple boards that we just spoke about, those are the 250 boards and your profits there is 1,250. The same is now for the 750 level. This is your second level yeah, where you get then five times 750 payments. Um, once you get that, you will see that you then go to your next level, which is 1,500 and you get 2,250 profits. And you have then gone to the next level, which is the one five. So the same thing applies here. You get five payments, one, two, three, four, five. And then you get uh, your 7,500 from that. You go to your next level, which is your 3,000. And once you've done that, then your profits are 4,500. Now you've got a position on the 3,000s. You get to the middle, you get 15,000. You go into your next level with 5,000 and you keep 10,000 on this level. So the next board that you get is the 5,000. You then get uh, 25,000 payout here. You take 7,500 and after going to the next level with that, you, your profits on this level is then 17,500. And the same thing uh, happens here. You get five payments of seven five, which is thirty seven five hundred. You then go to your last level, which is ten thousand, and your profits you keep is twenty seven thousand five hundred. And then you finally get to your last board, where you then get ten uh, five ten thousand rands. 
and that is 50,000 Rand. And then on this level, you can decide what you would like to do with your 50,000 Rand. If you want to maybe buy yourself another 10,000 spots, or if you want to buy a few other spots, then you can do as you please with that. So I just want to quickly just bring up the, the table. So as you can see here, this is exactly what we just discussed now. It's just in a table on the 250s. You will earn uh, 1,250. Uh, your next level will be 750 and your profits will be 500. So I'm not going to go through all of this. I think it's very self-explanatory. What I will do, though, is I'll post it on the group afterwards for if you guys maybe want to explain this to your newer people. So you can obviously see that it goes through each level exactly the same as what we just did by running through the boards. Okay. And that's just also another um, page, just a little bit more colorful to explain it. So I'll post both of them for you guys. And this is your profits if you don't follow any of the guidelines. This is just straight from start to finish and you don't buy any bridging spots with your profits. But what we encourage everybody to do is to actually follow the guidelines and I'll explain the guidelines afterwards once I've, once I've gone through this whole um, presentation now. Okay, is everyone still with me? I know I'm, I'm going pretty fast, um, but I want to just get through most of it so that we can um, have some Q's and A's afterwards. Everybody's still fine. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to continue. So then we've got the dumping process that we've implemented. So what I've explained up until now is the normal process and how the boards work. But in rainbow boards, we implemented a dumping system. So as soon as a board has been filled, the splits create two boards from one. That is what I showed you guys earlier. To stop the boards from duplicating into infinity, we've created a dumping system. So rainbow boards work in rounds. Stage one, we all work together to fill a specified amount of boards, for example, 10, 20, or 30. I'll say at the time uh, how many boards we're going to split at, at, the, at the time of the split. I'll let everybody know on the group. Then stage two, the specified amount of boards will then be split simultaneously. Stage three, a certain percentage of the split boards will get dumped and all of these spots are reshuffled onto the outside of the remaining boards. Okay, so basically what we would do there, uh, let's say we split, we take 10 boards and we're going to split 10 at the same time. So with that 10 boards, I create 20 boards and then uh, as one third of them gets dumped. And then all of those names from those boards then get put on the outside of the remaining 13 boards, which then that's the reason why everybody only earns uh, five times and not eight times. So we've sacrificed a little bit there. You guys will see that on our boards, you earn not eight times, you earn five times because by just doing that, like I mentioned, if you split uh, 10, you can actually get rid of seven boards. And seven boards don't sound like a lot, but when seven becomes 14 and 14 becomes 28, then it actually does make a big difference if you can get rid of some boards. Um, so with the dumping system, we create less boards and increase the momentum of the filling of the boards. And this is what makes the system work. All boards will always have three or less members placed on the outside after dumping. They are the team members from the percentage of boards that went through the dumping process. Okay, so Becky was the receiver on the dumped board. What happened to Becky? So if you were a receiver and your board was dumped, then you get placed on the joker board. So everybody does not get saved on the joker board, but with the joker board, I can at least make sure that the two next in line receivers Norman 2 and Arnu 1.1, they will go directly into the next split and they will not be dumped. So uh, this is what we did. Becky is now on the joker board along with all the other receivers from the same split round. Um, so if you 
are looking for your board, you don't know where it is, and it ended up on the joker, that means your board had been dumped this round, but we do have a system that you cannot be dumped twice in a row. So there is a system in place that you won't be dumped consistently the whole time as well. <laughs> so we can't save all of the receivers, but we do have the next in line receivers that won't be dumped and they will receive in the next round of splits. To ensure that we help the receivers that was previously dumped, the joker must go into the next round of splits. So you guys will also see that we always fill the jokers uh, first and they get priority over all the other boards to be put into the direct next split. Okay. Merging. At the moment, we're not really doing merging, um, but I'll quickly just read through it just for the sake of actually explaining it. We will always do merge stat to determine which boards are selected to be merged. When merging, we try to keep the usernames on the same position as far as possible. We also try to advance the newest members of the team. There is, however, no guarantee that you will be advanced or end up on the same position. Remember that merging is not an earning round, so you should not move forward technically. Merging is a team effort to help all team members to be gifted much faster. All team members will be expected to participate in merging. So like I said, currently we're not doing many mergers, but if we do do mergers uh, in the upcoming maybe three or four weeks, then uh, at least you guys will know what it is. Once you've been placed on a merge board here on the right, you'll see that's what it looks like. Um, and we have decreased the total of all boards. These merge boards will be queued directly into the next split. So basically that what we do with merging, um, we, we literally take three boards and we, we make them two. So we'll take six boards and we'll make them four, you know, so that's kind of what we do. We just literally put them into each other so that we can decrease. It's just another way for us to decrease the amount of boards that we have to fill constantly. So recently we have also implemented upgrades to decrease boards even more and to allow some of the newest team members to also have spots on the higher boards. We have implemented this in the bridging groups as well as on the 250 boards. And as we grow, we will do the same for the 750 and the 15 levels. We recently actually did the 750 upgrades. This ensures that your plan to build across the platform gets boosted. And you can be sure that even if your names do not come out of Dash in between upgrades, that you can then take the funds and use it to upgrade um, to a higher spot after a specific amount of time. If your um, name has not come out of the bridging groups and stuff, we do allow for you to then take it and merge it, put it together, and the value of that spot can then be placed on a higher board if you have not been able to buy or gift someone on the higher boards. So on the bridging groups, for example, we'll use Dash, the 50 Rand bridging group, if you have 50 names spread throughout Dash, you can choose to take 30 of those names out of Dash and get a spot on the 1,500 boards. On the 250 boards, this works the same. If you have 30 names on the 250 Rand boards, you can choose to take six of them, uh, 250 spots, and remove them from the 250 boards and get a spot on the 1,500 boards. So you basically take the spots out of the 250s, you take the same value, you squash all of those spots together and you put it on a 1-5. Um, so then that helps with the decreasing of the 250s and you also can then go higher um, if you'd like to do that. We will be doing this every three months, maybe even sooner, sooner depending on the growth. So for now, I said every three months, but... Uh, we'll see as we go to try and, you know, give everybody the opportunity to also have some higher spots. And then I just want to, from my side, say a big thanks to everybody for being on this call. And I hope that the presentation helped you guys to actually understand a little bit more about Rainbow. Okay, I've got someone waiting. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't see that. Um, okay, they are still joining. Okay, so um, do you guys want me to first explain the guidelines for you or do you want to go straight into some questions? Um, Annika, I have a question. Yeah. So you must buy 30, 250 boards before you can take six and go to a higher board. Oh, no, that so, was just an example. Oh. Yeah, that was just an example. Um, and the reason I said if you have 50 spots, uh, take 30 is because I kind of um, no. if you have, let's say you've got six spots, if, if you take yeah. all six your spots, then you're going to have to build to get your name spread out across the platform again, because uh, currently, we have over 2,000 names on the two, 250 Rand boards alone. So, I mean, you can just, you know, think the math of that. If you only have six names in between 2,000 names, the chances of you, um, uh, you know, earning often is not that great. So, the whole point with the bridging groups is so that you can actually spread your names across all of the levels and have as many names as possible all over the place. So if you do then have 50, I would say don't take all 50 and upgrade them, you know, leave at least uh, some of them and only take a few of them and upgrade them. But you can upgrade whatever you want. That's just a... Um, uh, uh, my An example yeah my advice uh, maybe when it comes to that you know don't don't squash all of them and then now you've got to spend another six months to spread your names across the platforms <laughs> yes okay no i understand that's yeah. perfect cool thank you okay <laughs> does anybody else uh, have any questions i haven't even checked in the chat yet There's a message from Tia on the on the chat uh, mentioning about her spot. Uh, just not sure if she's only got one spot mm -hmm. on the whole entire system or if that's just just one spot that hasn't gone through yet. Okay, I see it. Is it this one? I have a spot around three or four months now. It keeps running on the outer circle and never reached Joker. That spot was also in merge a few times. Is there an algorithm for dumping? <laughs> no, you're not just unlucky. No, the thing with Rainbow is, and that's what I what I always constantly keep on saying to everybody is that you you have to remember that, and that's this is why I actually emphasized in the beginning of the. Uh, let me put my camera on. Sorry, it's a little bit. Uh, sorry, I didn't. Even, sorry, guys, I didn't even realize that I didn't have my camera on. Um, so this is why I also emphasized in the beginning of the um, presentation, you know, that we, we literally started Rainbow with 10 people who made a commitment and we made a commitment that we would be uh, putting uh, funds into Rainbow to boost so that everybody can actually get to the 10,000 levels. So um, Rainbow is definitely not a platform where you can uh, take, uh, you know, like I just mentioned, there is over 2000 names just on the 250 boards. So, I mean, if you just think about the math of it to buy or to gift one 250 spots and expect for you to, with the dumping and emerging systems and everything we're implementing to keep the boards less, to expect for you to actually earn anything within six months between 2000 names, you know, you've got to be able and willing to wait and you've got to be willing to commit. You've got to be willing to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to take the next six months, just like the leaders have done. Uh, I mean, all of the leaders, most of the leaders have committed to putting at least between five and 10,000. Some of them even double that a month for the last six months. Um, and that is what we've been doing. And that's why we are all uh, on the higher boards and earning 
uh, more than other, the more you put in and the more you build your profile in Rainbow, the more you spread your name across the platform because of the dumping system. So Tia was mentioning now that she's got one name that keeps on uh, going on the outside. And I mean, it's because you just need more names so that you know, okay, we do. I I even have some of those names that, you know, they keep on get, getting dumped. Uh, they keep on getting um, put on the outside and stuff. But if you just keep on adding names into the bridging groups and you just keep on building your profile and eventually they all actually come through and it starts working like a snowball effect. And when you see again, then you have your name spread across the whole platform. So that is literally how it works. I mean, if you go and look at my releases names, She's got so many names all over the platform because she's literally, um, and even AD, most of the leaders, you know, they've spread their names across all of the platforms. And the way they've done it is by committing to actually put a certain amount in every week, you know, uh, and I know that I'm sounding very, uh, um, I don't want to say harsh tonight, but I really wanted to come across to everybody I want people to understand that it is very very important that you need to understand that rainbow is not going to work if you are not going to be making a commitment to actually stick to a certain amount every month that you are going to be putting in so that you can spread your name across the platform so that you can also get into receiver uh, but buying uh, or gifting three or four names into uh you know the 250s where there's over 2000 names uh that's going to take quite some time for you to then you know receive so that is just the way that it is and like you guys can see the entire presentation is about decreasing boards the whole time so we are constantly pushing and working and trying to decrease boards not trying we are <laughs> we are successfully doing that um, so yeah, I don't know, that is my answer to you. There isn't a specific algorithm and um, I don't count how many times you get uh, thrown onto the outside of a board. The only thing that I do keep track of is uh, if you were a receiver on a board, then I keep track of that. So I always make sure that you will not be uh, dumped twice in a row if you were a receiver. High five. <laughs> Eddie, do you want to say something? <laughs> yeah, I just want to, while I'm, while I'm on, I'm glad I actually caught the, the Zoom. I got back in time. Yeah, me too. I just, want to, I just want to let everybody know, um, like a lot of my friends, a lot of people that I brought in, they say because there's been so many many of these things that that have come around especially during covid where some people were like lost people to come in and they end up losing where rainbow is not like that i mean we won't let that happen but also we got to look at it like a business you can't expect to put in 250 rand and expect to get a hundred thousand rand in like a month or so you have to like like you said Anika, i have to put in at least 250 rand a week or 250 rand a month if that's all, all you can afford you have to get those positions and if you've got 10 positions going through splits across 10 different boards then the chances of moving up are much much quicker and it also takes people to bring in people what rainbow has been quiet because people are not bringing in people that have the same vision as as what we have so I want to encourage people to bring in more people and to commit to putting 250 Rand in a week or a month or I mean, a year's stretching a little bit too far, but they have to, you have to be able to commit exactly like what you said in order to make money. You can't make it by not putting in more spots or not buying more spots or not taking part of the bridging groups. So I just wanted to get that, that point across. Yeah, it's really, really important to understand that we literally have a team of people that have, you know, they've been putting in everything that they have. And um, I, you know, I would even go as far as to say that you, you don't have to bring people in. 
But if you find someone that is like-minded, yes, then bring them in because we don't want people that are going to be part of Rainbow, but they don't see the bigger picture or they don't carry the dream forward like we are and they're not committed. You know, we need more people in Rainbow that are actually committed just like the leaders are committed. And I would uh, say that 250 Rand a week is the minimum, you know, to be able to push. That's five dashboards. If you can commit to saying, okay, 250 Rand a week is going to go, then it's going to be like two or three weeks. And then you won't even have to take that 250 Rand out of, uh, sorry, months. In, within three months, you won't have to take that 250 out of your pocket. You can, you'll actually be able to do it with your profits. Um, so if you can, if you can just, and that's why I'm saying you have to come into Rainbow with the, with the mindset that this is going to take some work, but in the end, when the snowball effect starts to work, then you're going to be very, very happy that you did it. But yeah, unfortunately, it's not a, a system where you can just get 150 Rand dash uh, spot and then think that you're going to be earning uh, 100,000 Rand soon. <laughs> it's just not going to work like that, like anything else, you know. I think Ashley's been kicked out. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I'm letting yeah, she asked if you could please let her back in. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, she I, asked if you could let her back in. I did now. Yeah, so uh, do, do we have any other questions? I know tonight, uh, we, we're talking very hard tonight, but this is, uh, we've been very quiet the last month and, and it needs to be said, you know, because I mean, the, the leaders, uh, you know, we can only do so much, but if we don't have commitment or like-minded people, we are going to get stuck at some point. So so we really do need people that are, are like-minded and committed Um to doing exactly what we're doing you know and we're not expecting you to put to say okay you're going to commit to put in ten thousand a month or whatever but there's got to be some kind of commitment to say okay you know what i'll also work with the team um to get somewhere because re really rainbow cannot work without the team working together and also to take part on the groups as well so to take part, I mean, you don't have to get on the group and say good morning and, and all that stuff and flood the, the groups of messages. But read the messages that, that admin are putting out. There's always competitions running. There's always things to be won. There's always free spots. I mean, at least once or twice a month, there's free spots that are, that are going. And But it's always the same people winning the spots because it's always the same people that are taking part. Everybody needs to take part. Yeah, we, we really do need like-minded people, more like-minded people uh, on Rainbow. And that's why I wouldn't even say, you know, since the start of Rainbow, it was never a requirement for you to actually bring in people. It was just something of finding like-minded people, people that actually see we are not just thrown in this group and sitting back and waiting for stuff to happen by itself. We're actually a team and we're all working together. And I mean, everybody has seen it in Rainbow from the start. You will always be rewarded for being active on the group in some kind of way. You know, there will always be uh, rewards and free spots and all kinds of things that Rainbow does. Uh, everybody blesses everybody in Rainbow always. Um, all of our leaders are always willing, even people that are not leaders come and bless other people because that's just the spirit that we have in Rainbow. Um, but we've got to realize that um, we, we need more people uh, to, to be like the leaders, you know, we, we need you to, uh, to take it serious, you know, we need you to take Rainbow a bit more serious, if I can say it like that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm done with that. Does anybody have any other questions? I'll do the guidelines quickly. Okay, let me go into that. So let me see which one it is. Not. I think it's that one, yes. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So I made it a bit bigger tonight. <laughs> okay. So you'll see that 
Here we go. So what we, what, we, what we really want people to do is follow the guidelines. And you'll see that if you follow the guidelines, you still end up making a 100,000 Rand profit from each spot. Uh, you don't make 112,000. Uh, just want to quickly see a participant has enabled closed captioning. I don't know what that is. Okay. I just want to quickly go a little bit smaller so everybody can see. So, so this is level one, level two, level three, level four, five, six. And then that will amount to that profit there. Then that's 50,000. So then you'll get another 50,000 from your level seven, which is not on yet, because with your level seven, you can do whatever you like. Uh, you don't, there's no guidelines to follow on the 50,000. So that's a pure 50,000 profit. So if you follow the guidelines exactly like this thing says, then you make 100,000 Rand and you still create yourself all of these spots at the bottom, which then end up making that amount of money with only 250 Rand. Okay, so it's actually very brilliant if you are just patient and if you are willing to not uh, take all of your profits and run away and, you know, kind of build with the system, build with the team, then this is what you are able to uh, accomplish, you know, so I'm going to quickly run through it on the 250 board, your payout will be 1250 Rand, you'll go to your next level, which is 750, and you'll take another 250 spots, and you'll take five dash spots and on this level you will have no profit because on the 250 boards i mean on the 250 boards you you literally start on the 250 boards just to get some more ground in the game you know you you don't want to you don't want only 500 rand profit anyway i mean what's the point so you know we want to go right to the end and we want to get the the hundred thousand so on level two you from this you got yourself a 750 then uh, that's why it's so important to take each and every spot over because otherwise you're actually wasting you know you waited so long for this 250 rand to actually make you a thousand two hundred and fifty and then you you know you can actually make it become more by not taking it straight away so the 750 uh, will get you 3750 rand you then go up to your next level with it so it's minus one five and you take then five dash spots, uh, one sparky and one blossom. And then you end up making on your first, this is the first level that you actually make profit on. And you still make 1,550 after you got yourself uh, one blossom, one sparky. And I mean, uh, a dash is a two, uh, it gets you a 250 spot. So that gets you five more of these. And then a Sparky uh, gets you a 750. And a Blossom gets you a 1.5. So, I mean, this is so worth it to think that you've done all of that with just 750 Rand, uh, which you actually got from only 250 Rand. <laughs> So if you go and think about it, it's so worth it to just be patient and hang in there and, and follow the guidelines and follow the system. So then now you're sitting with a 1.5, which you got from this, and your payout will be 7.5. You'll take 3,000, go to the next level. You'll take five dash, two sparky, two blossom, one blaze. And I don't think we're doing unity here yet. And then after you've done all of that, your profit is 3,050 still. Okay, can I go back again? I made it a little bit bigger tonight. <laughs> now you just got to bear with me to move it around. Okay, so there we are on the 3,000. It will pay out 15,000. You go to your next level, which is a 5,000. You get yourself uh, with your, I, I have another sheet that you actually can tick off. You mark off. Uh, what you have bought and what you have not bought with your profits because you obviously don't get the profits at the same time it goes as the boards get full um, so then with uh, your 3000 you'll get 10-4 sparky one uh, blossom one blaze and one unity and you'll still walk away with 7000 rand profit here 
Okay, then you go to the 5,000, your payout's 25,000, you go up to your next level, you get yourself 10 new spots on, on the dash, uh, four new sparky spots, two blossoms, one blaze, one unity, and you still walk away with 14,200. Then your last level that you are actually going to buy bridging spots is you get your payout of 37,500. You go to your last level, 10,000, and you get your 10 dash spots, four sparky spots, two blossoms, one blaze, and one unity, and you still walk away with 24,200 profit. Okay, so if you have done that the way that we've shown it in the guidelines here, then this. Uh, all of these profits here make 50,000 and then you still have your 10,000 board that's going to pay out five times 10,000. Okay, so I just want to quickly make this smaller so we can see this. So now by doing this, what you've done here is you've created yourself some ground, you've, you've bought some ground across the platform for yourself because now you know from one 250 Rand, you now have another 250 Rand, you now have 45, two, uh, 45 new dash spots, which will become 250 Rand. You have 15 <coughs> new spots, which will become 750 Rand spots. You've created seven new 1,500 spots and four new 3,000 spots and three new 5,000 spots. This, and I mean, guys, this is, I'm not saying that you're going to get these, these payouts within one year, but even if it takes three years, it's going to be so worth it. And this is what you can do with only one 250 with only one 250 if you are committed to the system to stick to the system. So yeah, I think that this is really worth looking at and really worth doing. And um, yeah, we, we're gonna implement some changes and stuff for those of you that do not have the, um, the, the guidelines and stuff, I will send it on the group afterwards again um, so that everybody actually has it and you can see what we've done there. Uh, it's really doable because uh, every time that you do receive a payment, you uh, take some bridging spots and you also take some profits. It's only the first time that you really, up until the 5,000 board, I think, uh, that you, the first two spots goes literally just to buy your next spot. And, and then from the 5,000, you make a thousand profit on that. And as it goes on, then you start. So obviously the quicker you can get um, uh, on the higher boards, the more your profits are, but you've got to be willing to, you know, to stick it out and to, to push through and not take your profits on the 250s, you know, take, uh, take that, uh, build your profile rather take six months take eight months take a year to build your profile you know so that you know that if one spot gets dumped then you have 10 other ones that are going to go into receiver so yeah that's uh it really is brilliant i mean you can you can literally with one 250 you can create yourself so much income if you just stick to the system so, do we have any questions? <laughs> I'm just quickly going through the, um, I didn't miss anything important here. I just see happiness and smiley face and laughing and stuff. Okay, awesome. Okay, so does anybody else have any questions, anything that people don't understand or um, anything? <laughs> okay, so I think then we are done. Um, thanks for everybody that was on the call tonight. We were quite, quite a few new people and it was lovely to have everybody on and to actually get the, uh, the whole explanation out. Um, I know that we were a little bit more stern tonight, but uh, you know it, it is important to always tell people, especially when you are bringing them in as well, that 
they've they've got to be willing to make a commitment you know uh, for anything in life to to be able to work you've got to commit to it um and stick to it 